<laughs> and he had the legendary, depends on who you uh, believe, you know, how far it went. The altercation was Steven Seagal. Um, I'll tell you the exact story. I was at his house when he got fired. Really? Oh, this oh is my no, God. Yeah, please no. tell the story because there's so many urban mm. myths about that, uh, what happened. Gene doesn't get mad at me for telling this. He loves it. Um, so he was on the set of Under Siege and he was the fight choreographer. And to know Gene is to know he's been a stuntman in Hollywood since before I was born and I'm 46, okay? So he's always the old redhead guy that gets beat up and somehow can still take a big time bump at 137 years old. <laughs> That's so, like Frisco. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> so he's, he has a stopwatch to make sure that his guys, when they're doing their fight choreography, are in time for what the director's needs are. He always wears it around his, his, uh, his neck. His, he did it on every, uh, every movie that he did this on. And Steven was going way too hard. Oh, I'll tell you a great cigar story for this too. Steven was going way too hard on, his, on all of Gene's guys and not pulling his punches and just straight up wailing on him and saying, I want it to look real. And Gene had a confrontation with him. And he said, it's the director's job to make it look real. That's why he put the camera here. And that's why he puts the camera here. It's, your, it's my guy's job to make you look great. And it's your job to protect my goddamn men. And Steven didn't like that. And so he had a problem. Gene went back to the director. They did the take again. Steven didn't pull any punches. And uh, Gene takes off his stopwatch that he times the fight thing for. He puts it around the neck of his assistant and he says, keep this. When I get back, I'm going to be fired. <laughs> and he walks up to Steven, front chokes him, yanks him in, rips him up like this. And Steven pissed his pants and dropped to the ground. And Gene comes home pissed. I'm in his condo with his wife and my godfather, okay? And he had Playboy TV back in like the <laughs> back in the 80s on a satellite. And they would, I would sneak in and watch it from time to time. I loved going to Uncle Gene's house. And so he comes in and he's pissed. I mean, he comes in, the door swings open, blam, blam. And I hear him tell the whole story, cussing like a sailor. To Bob, I don't. I think Pat Johnson was there, who was another old school martial arts badass. Um, uh, Burleson was there. A whole gang of just old school killers, and all these guys called Stephen out on the cover of Black Belt Magazine and said, "We think you're bullshit. We all want to fight you." And it was all because of this under siege incident. And he said, "Well, I only fight to the death." And all of them, Gene first said, okay. <laughs> and he never fought one of them. He didn't want any of those guys. Those guys were stone killer. 